guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a very exciting video, which is all about holiday romances. I've been reading holiday romances for the past month and a half now. November, I read, like, over 10, and I am thriving. I love just, like, the cozy holiday time, and this is my favorite time of year. I am so happy when November hits, and it's already Christmas to me. I decorated the beginning of November, and I read all the holiday romances I can because everybody's just in such a good mood, and then you'll sometimes have that Scrooge character who needs to learn the meaning of Christmas and I love watching uh, Hallmark movies. I just love everything about Christmas time so I have a bunch, a bunch of holiday romances to recommend to you. I'm so excited for all these recommendations. Before we get started though, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Harlequin. I am so excited they reached out to sponsor another video of mine because they have some of the best holiday romances and they sent five my way to share with you guys and these ones, for either I have read them and they're so, so good or they're at the literal top of my TBR, so they sent five my way and I'm so excited to share them with you because they itch the scratch I have for just a really good holiday romance, especially their suspense line. If you guys have been watching me, you know that I really love romantic suspense lately. So the first one I have to share with you is Wyoming Christmas Stalker, which we have small town and we have Christmas and we have someone who is trying to kill our heroine. And they're also trying to solve a murder together. So there's a lot going on here and the romance is super sweet. So our heroine in the beginning witnesses a murder and the woman who was murdered is tied to a cult too. And I love cults in my books. I know that sounds weird, but like I find them so fascinating. So when I saw that too, I was like, this literally has everything I love in a romance. And so they have to investigate the cult. The hero, of course, is the sheriff who is helping her. And he has a little bit of a not bad reputation, but his reputation was kind of ruined because the person that he was dating was actually, like, not a good person. I think they were even engaged at one point, and so people are like, how did the sheriff of the town not realize what his own significant other was doing? And so he just, like, feels horrible and, like, everyone's judging him, and so he immediately sees her and really likes her, and they have to uncover this murder, and then someone's trying to kill her, and they're trying to figure out who it is, but then it could be multiple people, and it is just, like, a wild wild fun ride and it all happens at Christmas time. Lots of snow and I had so much fun. It's short but so much is packed into here and highly recommend checking this one out. So this is book two in a series but I had no problem with this. I definitely want to go back and read book one though because like it's so good. So the next one is another romantic suspense and it's His Christmas Guardian by Cindy Dees. This one's actually in the romantic suspense line. This one is in the Harlequin intrigue line and I love you can tell they're different lines by the different colors. So these two are probably my favorite lines of Harlequin. This one is romantic suspense because we have two guys working to catch a criminal and they are both on different teams, but they're both having the same goal to take down this killer. And so one is a CIA agent and one is a black ops agent and they're always kind of rivals, but they have to work together to catch this killer together and then fall for each other in the process. So definitely check this one out. Then in the Harlequin desire line, we have a Valentine for Christmas, which has an older woman and a younger man. He really likes her and he's actually helped save her twice now. She agrees to fake date him and it's around Christmas time and things start heating up between them and this has so many tropes I love because I love a man who goes after who he wants especially if he's a younger man and it's an older woman and she's like no you're too young for me like I can't do that society's gonna look down upon us and he is like I do not care what anybody thinks because you're my woman and I want you and oh my gosh just check this one out and I really love the books in the desire line as well because they're just like a steamy fun time and I have so much fun reading them. Then we have some Maisie Yates with some cowboy Christmas romances. This one is Merry Christmas Cowboy and small town romance. Our hero works at a ranch and our heroine works at the local inn so it's very small town and they actually have a one night stand and she ends up pregnant. He demands she comes home with him for the holidays and marry him because she is pregnant now and I'm really excited for this actually. I'm not typically a fan of the pregnancy trope but give me a determined cowboy who's like you're mine. Can you tell I love that trope? Who wants to take her home to his family ranch like this could not be more Christmas and I love it. And the last one from Harlequin I have is Two Christmases by Selena Bibra. This one is a city girl country boy which is another trope I really love because the heroine who is from the city usually ends up appreciating the small town country vibes and settling down for that and having such a good time in the country so the hero ends up inviting her home and wanting to show her how great the country is. She definitely is wary of a relationship especially because she knows that the hero has no interest of coming back to the city so it would never work out because she's just a city girl but she's gonna spend Christmas with him and of course 
things turn into something more. And while I do love the small town trope, I love it even more when someone from outside the small town comes in and learns to appreciate Christmas and just has a good time during the Christmas time. And things are just so romantic during that time. So this is definitely something to check out for your Christmas romance needs, especially if you love small town. And those are the five books that Harlequin sent my way. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. Like I said, these all encapsulate my reading taste absolutely perfectly. So I feel like you guys will love them too if you love what I love. So check all five of those out. They're all linked down below. And like I said, thank you to Harley Quinn for sponsoring this video. The next romance I have is Love Light Farms by BK Boris. And the cover has changed. This one's cute, but the new one's even cuter. And this one is a friends to lovers romance where the heroine owns a Christmas tree farm and it is not doing well. And so she puts her bid in to a social media influencer who promotes small businesses, but she lies and said that she is doing the farm with her fiance or boyfriend and she ends up getting the spotlight on her Instagram and so the heroine has to come up with a fake boyfriend so she asks her best friend to be her fake boyfriend and I love it. They've been best friends for like eight or ten years. It's been a really long time and I love the angst in that relationship and it was super sweet. Christmas Tree Farm and there were things that both of them had been doing that showed that they kind of really liked each other all along but never really want to cross that line so I love a good Christmas Tree Farm romance too. Check this one out. Another one I read that I'm obsessed with is Tis the Season for Revenge. This one is a Legally Blonde kind of inspired romance where the heroine is just a really fun, lively person who loves pink. She loves sparkles and she does makeup for a living. And she was dating a lawyer who is very boring. She was changing herself for him. She dyed her hair. She was trying to subdue her personality for him. And it's Halloween. She dresses up as a bunny. He comes to pick her up and he is like, you're so embarrassing. I'm breaking up with you. She's devastated. She thought he was about to propose. So she is drunk with her friends and opens a dating app and sees his boss and she matches with the boss on the dating app and so she's like I'm going to date his boss and show up to the Christmas party on his boss's arm and show him what he's missing. She ends up dating the boss who is older, successful, and spoils her to death. I love a man who spoils his woman and knows what he has. So she ends up falling for him and she's like but how do I tell him? that I dated him to get revenge on my ex. So it definitely kind of gets a little angsty, but this one is so good. It's super, super spicy, and I just love the hero so much. So if you want a good time, read this book. It is so good. Then I have two novellas. I actually was sent the bind up by the author, and these are really fun new adult romances. So this one is called Holiday with the Players, but the first one is Snowden with the Player. The second one is Sneaking Around with the Player. So the first one is a brother's best friend romance. They're snowed in at their family cabin together because the twin sisters sisters decide to go and their brother ends up showing up with a bunch of his friends and they all decide to stay there together and then a bunch of them leave to check on their parents main house while their parents are out of town and our heroine and her longtime crush brother's best friend are stuck in the cabin and they get snowed in together so no one can come to them until the next day and it's super cute so much Christmas in here they watch Christmas movies bake cookies snowball fights everything like that go skiing and you know at the end of the book though that her twin sister is secretly seeing her brother brother's rival because her brother's a football player. They're all football players and the brother's rival really hurt someone on their team on accident but they hate his guts. So she met him in a uh, airport and they start an epistolary romance. They start texting. Then they start FaceTiming and they really like each other but she is like my brother literally hates her guts. So she's sneaking around with him and they're such fun romances. If you like new adult romances that really are pure holiday time please read these two novellas. And then I have In the Event of Love which is a sapphic romance and you have someone who really hates their small town coming back home and having to kind of confront things uh, that they left kind of messily behind. So the heroine is, I believe she's a party planner and she accidentally hooks up with a client's fiance and ruins her reputation. She is horrified and so she is told to take a break and she's like, I can't take a break. Like, I need to fix this. And so her boss was like, take a break. She's like, okay, you know what I'll do? I will play on the event in my hometown that you want me to that I didn't want to so that I can still work but like take a break and so she goes back to her hometown is confronted with an ex who was a really really good friend of hers who they hooked up and then really left very awkwardly and she just like ran away and didn't want to confront it so she actually owns the Christmas tree farm in their small town and so they are building this event together and having to team up for it and they are trying to fight this big company that is coming in to try to build like strip malls and really commercial 
commercialize the area and it's really sweet it's really definitely a small town coming together to like fight the big bad billionaire people and they have a second chance at romance and the one heroine from the city is having to learn to love a small town life again and confront things she left kind of messily behind so definitely a fun one then there's a the holiday trap which is kind of like the holiday the movie so this one we have two characters who are really not liking their lives and so they have a mutual friend who was like hey I have a friend in Maine and a friend in New Orleans swap houses and just escape your lives for the holiday season so they do that and so the hero ends up falling for the plant shop owner because the heroine has a ton of plants and he thought he killed one so we took it to the shop and asked the shop owner and he was like it's totally normal and then he's trying to help him build up his business and they end up falling in love and then the heroine ends up falling in love with this woman that she meets and spends so much time with around New Orleans and one is definitely very small town and one is very much more like social and going around and meeting a lot of people and going to Christmas parties and I thought this was really fun. Both of them had to look really hard at their own lives, if they were happy or not, who they were staying in their respective places for and how to address those different relationships in their lives and I thought it was a really fun take on the holiday kind of trope where they're swapping houses and definitely recommend picking this up. I listened to the audiobook and I really enjoyed it. Then I have Slay You'll Stay. This one is a Australian cowboy romance. So the heroine is running away from a relationship that she's finally gotten the guts to get out of. It is not physically abusive but she feels like she's a different person and settling with this guy because she's been with him since high school. So she tells her brother where she's going and no one else and goes to this farm where she is helping with housekeeping because it's like a farm people like stay at have like an experience at and she immediately butts heads with the Australian guy who is in charge of like the horses and the stables and they do not get along well and then they keep on butting heads and it's their romance it's very cute and they end up having to try to save the farm they team up to save the farm and end up spending a lot of time together we do have like the traveling because they have to go somewhere in order to find an investor and it was really sweet definitely a fun on the ranch kind of romance like I said I love small town Christmas romances like there's nothing like them so definitely check this one out then this one I am like 70% in the audiobook, so I feel comfortable enough recommending this one. And that is Kisser Once For Me. This is another sapphic romance, and it is so good. They had a one-night stand a year ago on Christmas, but then it ended for some reason. We don't know until a little further in, and I feel like it was a really good reveal. Like, I really liked the reason why. It, I did not see it coming and so the one heroine had her life pretty much together but then she got fired from her animation job and she is like scraping by working at a coffee shop but barely because she's not getting this raise she wants and she's just really struggling and so the landlord stops by and her friend is like you should date the landlord and she's like no and then the landlord hears that she has money problems and he needs to get married in order to get an inheritance because he's like really rich but he really wants this inheritance and so he's like they get drunk one night together and they end up <laughs> proposing getting married so that he can get his inheritance and he'll give her some of the money since she really needs it and her mother is awful and she keeps on sending money to her mom and her mom keeps on asking for more even though she's never really been a mother figure for her and so they end up going home with him for Christmas as his fake fiance and she meets his sister who was the woman she had a one-night stand with and she felt like madly in love with her overnight it was just like an instant connection soulmates kind of experience but didn't end well she now sees her and she is the fiance of her brother and so they are both like oh my gosh so now they're spending Christmas together with his family having to confront what had happened to them and she is still like I need to marry though because I needed this inheritance and he needs the money for a really good reason so she feels guilty but then he also has kind of feelings for someone of his own that's kind of getting a little messy too and I heard people recommend this as a like love trapezoid <laughs> which is really funny because like that's kind of what it is people are in love with other people but like people are fake dating to get a certain thing and it's just and it's really really fun. I love the family dynamics. There's so many Christmas activities. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Then I have Holiday Romance by Catherine Walsh. This one is a Friends to Lovers. They go back home to Ireland every year together and that's really the only time they see each other and they've been doing this for like 10 years now and the guy has been pining the whole time. We get flashbacks to every year throughout the book that they've been flying together and you see him slowly fall harder and harder for her. And she's kind of oblivious to it but now this year there's a huge freak snowstorm and they can't get out of Chicago so she is determined to help him get his way back home because he's like I need to be there for my family and so they end up going to like 
like a different place and trying to like hop around countries to get back to Ireland. It's a travel romance which I really love and they are falling for each other and they have been friends though for a long time and they slowly unravel this longing that the hero had for her and it's a lot of fun. I love travel romances and all the different activities they have to do together and experiences and they're sleep deprived and they are just like not thinking straight and then they just fall in love with each other and it's really great. We end up seeing their families too once they finally make it home and I just had a really fun time reading this. It felt like a Christmas movie and I really enjoyed reading it. Then I have Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lee. This one our heroine and hero both work at a bookshop together and they don't really get along but they realize that the shop is going to have to fire one of them because it's not doing the best. She is really more on the side of loving books and recommending books and being upfront. The hero is definitely more technical and business savvy and helping like run the business and so they decide to strike a bargain where the person who sells the most books gets to keep their job and they end up falling for each other in the process so they're kind of like rivals to lovers and it's super cute and quirky. I love a good bookshop romance especially in the holiday season and it's definitely pretty short. I listened to it on audio and I flew through it so such cute holiday romance you should check out. Then I have a bookshop Christmas which is a romance between a bookshop owner and an author. So they first meet and they don't hit it off well and then she realizes that he is the author that she is expecting to come to the bookshop and they slowly fall in love. I read this one last year and I thought it was super cute and it is definitely a lot more emotional too because the hero is hiding something and this heroine does slowly uncover that about him. So it's definitely more on the serious side but it was really cute. Another cute bookshop romance if that's what you love especially during the Christmas time. And those are all some Christmas romances that I highly recommend you check out. I am just obsessed with all these romances and I love everything that have to do with Christmas so check these out. And a huge thank you again to Harley Quinn for sponsoring this video. I hold the links to all the books down below and a link to Harley Quinn's website if you want to check them out. They always have so many amazing Christmas romances on their websites. They're always running amazing deals so if you want anything to read by them check them out and that's all I have. As always thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.